Greetings, ladies and gents, it's time to get crazy. Crazy gadget. Ow. Uh, you know, this Anyways. is honestly, I gotta say, this is one of my favorites. It, the fuck, Jerome? <laughs> what? You crashed through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I like this. One of my favorite stages too. Yeah. The, the only thing I don't like is that is the one anti gravity section during uh, during the later part of the stage. We'll get to that when we get to that. Um, I also like the music. It's one of my favorite. Oh tracks. yeah, music great. And I love the uh, love the Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games remix this got. Yeah. One really, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a remix. It's more like a like a remaster of the Imagine sort because of, it kind of just added a few extra instruments. Really. Yeah, that counts as a remix. <laughs> okay, I suppose. All it needs is more air. Well, I mean, what's the difference between a remaster and a, and a remix? Um, uh, remix dramatically changes up stuff, or remaster just cleaning up things that but yeah. changing nothing. Yeah. Maybe like uh, adding in like a couple, of, like or like re. Well, basically a remaster is um, more of the fact that like, let's say something was in um, my day before, now it's instrumental. You mean MIDI? Oh. <laughs> yeah, MIDI. Whatever. Whatever. The hell, <laughs> how do you pronounce it? Now. As much as I as much as I like this level, it's still anti gravity, so I do get the occasional problems of precision. <laughs> I don't necessarily have a problem with the anti gravity. It's just that the anti gravity in this game isn't very good. Yeah, it's not. Well, no, uh, no, Sonic, not. So it's not a uh, weekly Mario Galaxy levels right now, right? It's or or it's just that I mean the camera works okay-ish because um, it's it's not like they can really make a good perspective while you're upside down. Um, Sure you can, just turn the camera, just turn the camera upside down too. <laughs> yeah, unless they purposely flip the camera. <laughs> but then I guess I guess that way you don't really get the sense of uh, disorientation as the was was which the point is of uh, anti gravity. Yeah, I'll take better gameplay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, smoother <laughs> gameplay. So, um, what are these things? Uh, you know those tubes in chemical plant zone? Yeah. They're they're kind of like that, just in space. Yeah, it's just it's a 3D version. But but then why are those like blue rings being made while you're in them? Uh, cause Sonic's it's just <laughs> it's just look flashy. Yeah. Anyway, um, the longer you the longer you uh you uh, work through this level, the more impatient Eggman gets. I do like that attention to detail. Yeah, and in fact, he'll actually get so he'll just, he'll get so agitated that at one point he'll actually threaten uh threaten to kill Amy if you don't hurry up. <laughs> and oh, then Sonic stops and thinks about it. <laughs> and as long as it stops to think about that for a minute. Hmm. Maybe I should <laughs> let this happen. Hmm, did I leave the oven on? <laughs> you know, it's so, you know, I, going off on a slight tangent, it's so weird how, like, in the main series, I agree, like, I don't care about Amy at all, but in Boom, she's one of my favorite characters. That's because she does shit. Yeah. In this one, she... Because she's actually game, a character in Boom. In, in, in the case like this, it... it if she wasn't there, Sonic and Tails' plan would have went flawlessly. Yeah. Well, assuming Eggman didn't realize that it was a fake chaos symbol. But then that would mean he would have to try and stop one of them, in which case... Oh, so uh, uh, give me one second, be, I'll be right back. In which case, you know, they probably would have gone away with the whole with the whole plan already. Yeah. Like, when has when is Eggman ever been able to successfully beat Sonic in a fight? Never. Well, unless you count Sonic Leash or Sonic Riders. Well, that's not really a fight, but well, Sonic and Leash, but maybe not so much Sonic and Leash, but more uh, more Sonic Riders. I mean, it's not really a fight. He just had a decent plan, and then they kind of let him win at the end anyway, <laughs> because it really me meant nothing. <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> Welcome to my maze. Haha. <laughs> that's one thing I do like. Eggman has kind of a bit of charm in the adventure games. <laughs> <laughs> so you get through this. So you get through this anti-gravity section. Haha. -ha. What the fuck? Wait, what are you uh, doing here? I, I I don't know. I also got thrown off there too. What? 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 Big? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's uh here. Someone kill him, please. Yeah, but the anti-gravity fucked up, and now I have to die. Ah, uh, you're stuck now. Um. Yeah, I have to die. If I go, to... yeah, see, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Wait, wait, you're, 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 you're making it. You're making it. You're making it. Ah, shit! No, you didn't make it. No, I had to die. There was no choice. I had no choice in the matter. 
You, there's always a choice, man. You just gotta try. You gotta try hard enough. Try where? You didn't find another switch to fix it right. You gotta, you gotta glitch it out, you know? That's exactly what just got me killed. You gotta double- you, you have to glitch the glitch. I don't get it, what did they do wrong there? Nothing, just just blame Sonic Team. <laughs> it worked perfectly fine then. Even if it works, blame Sonic Team. They, they did something wrong. Okay, so what's this about blaming Sonic Team? Um, you missed a glitch where yeah. I, somehow the gravity fucked me over and I got stuck where I wasn't supposed to be. Oh, and, I've, and, I've uh, had that happen was taunting to him. And I had no choice but to kill myself because, well, there's nowhere to go. Yeah, I've had that happen to me too. Yeah, and uh, and Big was taunting him as well. Yeah, t Big was standing there taunting. Yeah, he's right over there, that fucker. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta wonder what what if Big had like some secret significance in the plot that we just never knew about? Big is actually a member of the. Uh, well, I wouldn't. Be, I would. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a scrap because they, because they realized that no one liked the fishing uh, segments. In Sonic Adventure 1. Well, that's no, the no, thing. No, 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 but... You guys know this? Big is a member of the Illuminati, and he's, um... He's actually secretly keeping an eye on Sonic. You know what? That makes more sense than, than the reason Sega gave us. Wait, which what's the nothing. reason which, Sega which, gave? Which is nothing. Ah. <laughs> uh. Although, I will admit, it's not that anybody... Well, people dislike the fishing minigame, that's for sure. But nobody yeah, necessarily yeah, dislikes. I, I hate the fishing. Nobody movie. necessarily think, dislikes Big per se. It's just that just think, everything surrounding I just, Big. I just think it could have just been a, a thought of a mini. If, 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 yeah, if 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 Big's fishing was a mini game in Sonic Adventure, nobody would be complaining. Not a single person. Has anyone ever um played that big visual novel thing that some guy made? Oh yeah, I got an E right because of that fucking glitch. <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. Somebody made a Big's fishing E novel. Visual novel. A visual novel. Yes, with some mini games. There's like a shitty Angry Birds clone that's hard as hell. But <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you later. Why? Why the would that? Twitter ex endorsed it, man. But why does that exist? Because someone had needed something to do. Yeah, someone had like ten uh, spare minutes. Huh. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Sonic's glare is at Amy. <laughs> You, you fucking idiot. Wait, what's that extra, like, tube in front and, like, on top of the gun? It's a scope. But, a really oversized scope, but a scope yeah. nonetheless. Yeah, I don't think Eggman can see shit. Why does he need a scope on a pistol? Uh... The same reason we need one in Halo. You never know, it could just be a zero. It could be just a zero. Oh, right, you know what? Better, better comparison. There's the same reason why we need one Call of Duty. You just do. <laughs> By the way, Amy's, oh, Amy's model is frozen there. <laughs> She's, is she in her T-pose? Uh, she, not exactly. Close, but not exactly. Oh, plot twist. <laughs> if you were in the hero's perspective. <laughs> Admittedly, that was kind of yeah. Cool. I will admit that's actually one of Eggman's more clever moments. Yeah, because because he, he actually he actually called out and Sonic is fucking off. pissed off at Tails for telling him that too. Yeah, he's like he's like you fucking idiot, you fell for his bluff. I'm, counting on you, Tails. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, Tails I can't take I can't take this I can't take the scene seriously with the way Egg, uh, Tails and Amy's face look. Hello, all right, all right, guys, are you ready for the uh, biggest ass pull of the, in the entire series? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You so Tails managed to make a near identical Chaos Emerald with what material? With with unknown materials, unknown said properties. How? And on top of that, believe. and on top of that, we see what's we'll see what Sonic does with this shortly after, which is bullshit. <laughs> I'll admit that right now, it's bullshit. But I won't say anything until well, we get to that. It's bullshit on two counts, on two levels. But like I said, we'll save that for when we actually get to that scene. <laughs> well, that tells you um, that tells you something about how good of a friend Sonic is. We can't trust you with anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right before he dies. <laughs> it's like Tails, don't fuck up. <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty much what Sonic's face said to Tails before he got launched. Don't fuck this up, because you already fucked over me. 
Ow. Fuck you. Now I hate this one. This is the worst character battle. No, I yeah, I I, I agree. This is uh, this is terrible. <laughs> I hate this one. This one is so BS. Except for that one time when I managed to kill Eggman in less, less than 30 seconds. It's not even that it's necessarily it's hard. This it's this part. I fucking hate that. It's not even I... that it's necessarily hard. It's just bullshit. It's, uh, yeah, because that laser is that specific laser. It can legit stun lock you. Wait, how come Eggman doesn't have this when you're playing as him? Uh, plot, plot, gameplay, segregation. Look, if you got, if you need it to, so my advice to avoid that fucking laser is to jump towards Eggman. Jump towards it. That's the only way you get to avoid it. Because that laser, it follows you everywhere and it easily catches up. <laughs> yeah, right here. You're supposed to. It, 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 there we go. And I almost walked into it, thanks to camera. And he's doing it again. No. <laughs> Do you yeah. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eggman's mech received a huge upgrade. It seems. Yeah, in the span of like five seconds. The only time I feel better is when I luck out, and I lucked out because if you can get Eggman to walk to the explosion, it deals a fuck ton of damage. You know, I got. I, I would love to see somebody do this like like that, like that. See, I managed to get him down to red simply because of that, and God fucking damn it. Yeah. Yeah, thankful you have like 20 lives. I have plenty of lives to go, but it doesn't. But, I'm <laughs> but still I have tried. You might have plenty of lives, but not enough patience. Exactly. You know, I would hey, love Omo to Chow, see do somebody. Something. I would love to see somebody. Yeah, you just, just throw Omo Chow at Eggman. Fuck you, walk out of it. I would love to see somebody do this, like, legitimately with, like, no hits taken. Someone out there's sure. probably done this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been done. But yeah, uh, like Eggman's got a ton of really crazy stuff. Missile barrages, super lasers. Well, all things considered, he is a scientist. Yeah, but when and did this I turn into myself. like a Gundam show or something? Wait, Dro, did you just kill yourself with your own explosion? Yes. Smash 4. What? <laughs> <laughs> And Eggman just did the same exact thing, and he's pissed at me for it! <laughs> Asshole! Okay, come on, one more hit, that's all I need. Just die, just die, just die! Thank god! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, Jerome has secretly been uh, Reaper the entire time. <laughs> if I could, if I could teabag in this machine, I would. Well, I mean, if you could, I mean, you could jump up and down, that's kind of similar. Well, actually, depending depending on where you kill it, you, I. Uh, and yeah, this is I Jerome's guide to play D.Va in Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta remind myself to name that, to name the part that <laughs> Jerome's guide to D.Va. Awesome job. Meanwhile, prepare to prepare for bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, so just... now we can explain this scene. So somehow Sonic was able to escape the exploding capsule through the use of chaos control with a fake emerald. Now let me yes. tell you why that's bullshit. <laughs> First of all, Sonic has never d attempted chaos control ever until just now. And uh, second of all, it's a fake emerald. It's a fake emerald. Yeah, um... Now granted, ass. I can buy Sonic pulling it off with a fake emerald. But I can't buy him you pulling it off on his first try with no practice whatsoever. Yeah, at least, yeah. At least when it comes to, at least when it comes to other storytelling like you know anime or even a few other video a few other games, certain moves just don't work immediately on first tries. <laughs> you know, it took several it, it took several attempts like you know like especially with Pokemon too like in the anime at least where they show that some some moves just cannot be executed like flawlessly on the first try.